Hey everyone, we're going to quickly talk about President Herbert Hoover, who was the president at the start of the Great Depression, not exactly a popular president. So, first of all, Hoover's going to rub people the wrong way because he's going to refuse to help people directly. He's going to instead say, let's help out businesses and private enterprise, the big businesses, the small business, all those companies, let's help them out. His theory was that if we help those businesses out, then those businesses can start hiring more workers, and then those workers have more money, and then those those workers with money can now go out on their days off and spend money, go to restaurants, buy things that they need, and then those businesses that they spend money on will start to do better, and then those businesses will start to have more workers, and the cycle will continue. They'll go out and spend money, and then naturally the economy and unemployment will fix themselves. But it this idea will take time, and it kind of rubs people the wrong way, because people are have lost everything at really no fault of their own. The sa- their, all their savings were wiped out in those bank runs and those bank failures, and they lost it It, it's gone and hoover's solution isn't to help those people that lost everything it's to help the businesses out and these might be people who are ready to retire and they're not getting any direct government aid so people are a little upset about that well hoover has a belief system that he's going to call rugged individualism that is going to explain why he doesn't want to give that money directly to people. He's going to say that people have this freedom and independence in America that makes America special, makes America unique, that allows them to go out and fix problems themselves, uh, work hard and do better for themselves and find a job and help provide for their family, all of that stuff. And they do it without government assistance. He believes that is the history of America. That's the American spirit. And he believes that if he breaks that American spirit, breaks this rugged individualism that Americans have, that Americans will start to become feeling dependent on the government if they just start giving people paychecks or start helping them out with their rent or their mortgages that Americans will get used to and become dependent and start relying on the government to fix their problems in the future. And he believes that Americans' rugged individualism will be threatened because of that. That is a quick belief system on President Hoover. Please watch the next video for a little more information on him. Thanks, guys. Once again, President Hoover tried to reassure the nation by saying... Recovery is just around the corner, but it was not to be. And more Americans grew disenchanted with his policies and administration. Secretary of the Treasury Andrew Mellon echoed the beliefs of most of Hoover's advisors that the economy would recover on its own. Hoover thought the government must take some action, but feared making government too strong. And so he chose a conservative approach calling together business, banking, and labor leaders and urging them to work together and avoid laying off workers or calling strikes. Then he authorized the expenditure of federal funds for large public works projects, like Boulder Dam, later renamed Hoover Dam, to create jobs and wages for thousands of workers. Hoover felt giving direct help to needy Americans would undermine their self-respect and looked to private charities to help the hungry. Instead, he approved more than $2 billion in emergency financing to businesses, hoping their renewed success would trickle down to the people who needed assistance. It didn't. Rather, unemployment rose even higher, and Americans were caught in a web of despair.